Excuse me, little dog. All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the great state of Texas on this absolutely glorious, it is Thursday, April 7th. 2022 somewhere around there so anyway guys you know now that i'm back in the great state of texas uh <laughs> it, you know I've, I've i've gone from the oasis of freedom with uh ron DeSantis at the helm to uh the great state of texas with none other than greg abbott our great governor uh republican governor Greg Abbott here in the state of Texas and uh, <laughs> saw your your old uh, former snowflake uh, you know I really don't know much about uh, Abbott you know obviously I heartily endorse generally speaking his corona panic policies although he's not quite as ballsy as uh, Ron DeSantis uh, He's probably second. Uh, you know, this is the second closest uh, place we have to an oasis of freedom uh, in the U.S. Thanks largely to uh, Greg Abbott. But but yesterday, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want to tell this story before I before I get into just while I have it uh, on my mind, just simply because I've been forgetting to mention this. It was, when did I go up to Austin on Monday? So I'm down here near San Antonio. So uh, I made this trip to Austin up I-35 between San Antonio and Austin. And what I saw is not one, but two of these, you know, these big trucks, these big 18-wheelers that carry, you know, new cars, you know, you've seen them, I mean, you know, how many cars do they carry, like 8 to 12 uh, cars going to car lots and stuff? Well, what these were, they were carrying Border Patrol uh, vehicles, you know, those, those white SUVs with Border Patrol. So, in the space of two hours... I saw on I-35 uh, in Texas two of these trucks bringing uh, these Border Patrol vehicles. This could have nothing to do uh, with, with this thing from latest uh, news from Greg Abbott or everything. I honestly don't know. I'm just, I just thought it was an interesting little factoid. Do you need more ear mite medicine, little dog? So anyway, uh, just with that little factoid in the background, so uh, Greg Abbott, you know, is preparing for this latest, uh, I guess what, the, you know, the right-wing conspiratards down here in Texas are the new invasion uh, building uh, on, on the Texas border. And so when I first read this, I thought it was a joke. I mean, when he suggested that what he was going to do with all of these aliens, these illegal aliens, these Mexicans and Central Americans and probably some Haitians uh, all mixed into the bunch, that he was going to put them on buses and send them to, <laughs> to Washington, D.C., as, and, I, and I honestly thought he was joking. And I thought it was a funny joke. And then I, 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 I find out last night, I, I'm reading, uh, you know, I, I mean, these lefties with their panties in a total wide uh, about this, what I thought was a joke, but it's absolutely for real that uh, he is talking about uh, sending... Uh, he, he, the number they're bandying about, I have no idea where it came up from, is 900 buses and uh, what, 50 people fit on a bus? 
So uh, 900 times 50, I know there's a 45 in there that is sending out 45,000 aliens, uh, illegal aliens, uh, putting them on a bus and sending them <laughs> to, to Washington, D.C. for uh, Joe Biden to, uh, <laughs> to deal with. And, and, I, and I guess... Uh, he's also saying that it's not just Washington, D.C., that I, I guess that th this is all voluntary. He, he says he is offering free bus tickets to Washington, D.C., but uh, apparently, if, if and, and nobody knows exactly what the policy is, but it's sounding to me like if 50 Mexicans you know, opt to go to, uh, you know, to Chicago or Denver or whatever, uh, he'll put them on a bus uh, to go there. Uh, you know, uh, there you go. He is offering free transportation from Texas, pretty much, to, I think it's going to be wherever they want to go. Uh, uh, you know, in, in the... And the more I think about it, it is, is hell yeah, good for you, uh, <laughs> good for you, Greg Abbott. Uh, yes, Hambone Little Tail is cheering on Greg Abbott. Uh, <laughs> now I do want Greg. Could you send a few of those bus loads to Ithaca, New York? For God's sake, you know, trying to find a fucking Mexican that to come out and do some work, uh, and it is trying to find anybody to fucking show up to work uh, in in Ithaca, New York. You know, you go to any goddamn Home Depot in the state of Texas, you you pull up and and you get mobbed uh, by the you know by these Mexicans. Wanting to go in it and put in a fucking day of work that these little pussy honkies up there in New York. Good God trying to find someone just to show up, much less to actually uh, do some work. And I'm not suggesting that Alistair uh, is a Mexican. Uh, Alistair uh, and Kevin Shanholzer. Alistair, Kevin Shanholzer, I guess Warren, uh, the, you know, I do have a few people in the tribe willing to work like a Mexican, but I really uh, want some of those buses to come to Ithaca and Owego, New York, so I can go to the fucking Home Depot in the Lowe's and, and, and get someone who wants to show up for work. And have you tried to find a decent taco in, in the city of Ithaca, New York? You know, where where are the damn taco trucks? There's probably six taco trucks uh, within a half mile of me right now. I want a damn taco. Uh, you know, a breakfast taco, a breakfast burrito. Uh, good Lord, uh, some of that. Um, well, I can't eat carne asada anymore. But, uh, you know, all the various pork and chicken so, uh, Greg Abbott, if you're listening, please uh, send some of those uh, some of those Mexicans up to upstate New York because we have a definite uh, supply shortage. The supply chain of Mexicans ha has completely broken down between uh, Texas and upstate New York, and I'm sure it's not limited to upstate New York. Uh, I guarantee you there's a lot of uh, places in the U.S. who could use a few busloads of Mexicans showing up in their town, hopefully uh, bringing a, you know, a tortilla press with them so we can have a decent fucking taco. Uh, now, of course, guys, uh, you, you, you know the the Hambone Little Tail immigration policy and, and uh, for anybody be they Mexican, Haitian or whatever coming into this country is the same immigration policy for any American moving to Mexico or Haiti or whatever that is you come across this fucking border 
uh, before you even get on the bus, before you even get your free cell phone. You know, all of these, these, uh, the, these Mexicans are getting uh, free cell phones. Joe Biden is giving them a free cell phone, but I do ad admire the, the honesty of the, uh, of the White House while they're doing this, uh, is to track them. Um, that is exactly why uh, Joe Biden is, is, is giving free cell phones to, uh, to Mexicans is so he, he knows where the hell they are. Uh, <laughs> why else? Uh, I guess there was a Fox News reporter suggesting uh, that they would throw the cell phones, the free cell phones away and whoever that press secretary, you know, the, the official mouth of the White House, that, that red-headed girl, uh, laughing at the very notion uh, that a fucking Mexican is going to throw away a free cell phone. Uh, ain't going to happen. Uh, but anyway, before they get on the bus, and as a prerequisite of getting the free cell phone, uh, you, you know, it's vasectomies to the right, tubal ligations to the left. You get sterilized, you come into this fucking country, the first stop you make is to the sterilization clinic. Show your sterilization papers, uh, and, and you come up here and uh, grab your free cell phone and get your free uh, bus ticket to Ithaca, New York. Uh, I, I heartily endorse this. Uh, I, this is the Hambone immigration policy, it, it is to sterilize anybody on this planet. Uh, this, this is the same for Ukrainians fleeing to Poland. Uh, bring them on over. It's vasectomies to the right, tubal ligations to the left. Uh, so anyway, uh, we will see if Greg Abbott, I'm going to, I'm trying to get a phone call through to Greg Abbott to suggest the forced sterilization of uh, the incoming invasion of uh of uh, Mexicans and all the rest of them. Not sure Greg is going to take my call on that one. Uh, and anyway, just in, since there's no other room for this, uh, as long as I'm pissing off all of the whatever little limp dick lefties are still left on this uh, on this channel, uh, you know, I have not made my official comment on. Ron DeSantis in this unadulterated horseshit lefty line about this don't say gay bill. All right, I am 100% uh, in favor of Ron DeSantis uh, on this don't say gay bill. I'm not going to get into it. Any fucking little lefty. Uh, claiming that uh, this bill uh, is a don't say gay bill has never sat down and read the goddamn language of the bill. But I did enjoy uh, this statement as long as I'm just rambling here on this beautiful morning. This was actually from Esquire magazine. Uh, it's long, excellent article. What it was talking about is right-wing conspiracy theorists, especially this pedophile, uh, this fucking pedophile uh, line that, that all of these QAnon and, and various other right-wing uh, conspiracy wackos talking about, uh, you know, all of these cabals of pedophiles and uh, everybody's a pedophile, and this one in particular, I guess this was another article they referenced, you know, QAnon talking about how Hillary Clinton, how Hillary Clinton 
is is beyond a pedophile that she and, and all of these other uh, evil lefties uh, in the New World Order literally drink baby's blood. That Hillary Clinton literally drinks uh, baby's blood. Uh, and of course, it, a pedophile, anybody who supports Ron DeSantis uh, on, on uh, his opinion of, uh, you know, talking about trannies to six-year-olds. If, if you are opposed to having uh, tranny education uh, for first graders, you are a pedophile. And uh, I did like this line from this article in Esquire yesterday, you can disagree about what age kids should start learning about sexual orientation and gender identity without calling people who disagree with you pedophiles. And, and, and that's the, you know, the, the, the bottom line here. And, and good for this little lefty over there at, uh, at Esquire magazine, uh, that if anybody uh, disagrees, you know what I'm saying, uh, j j just what he said. I am in no way, shape, or form claiming so of, uh, that people who are in favor, people who are in favor of this, uh, uh, of this bullshit law. I mean, this really, I mean, it doesn't mean anything to me one way or the other. I mean, I'm, uh, I, I'm taking Ron DeSantis' side on this, but I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know what I'm saying. It doesn't mean anything to me personally. But, uh, this, yeah, this, this whole thing that if you are a libtard who, uh, if you are a little limp dick lefty who, uh, who agrees with uh, thinking that it is the uh, public school system's business to uh, talk about trannies to uh, first graders, then obviously you're a pedophile, which is bullshit. And what, you know, getting into this, you know, uh, she's not here now, so I can say this now. Of course, where I'm staying uh, with, uh, you know, the, my best friend uh, on the planet who is a hardcore Donald Trump supporter. She's not quite to Q. She's like maybe between N and O on the alphabet. You know, she hasn't quite gotten into Q territory, but uh, we, we have some... Uh, we, we have some fun, uh, friendly debates. Uh, she is, she, it sounds like she does not believe that Hillary Clinton drinks baby's blood, you know, like the Q people, but she doesn't 100% reject the idea. You know what I'm saying, that uh, Hillary Clinton drinks baby's blood. I, I mean, it's somewhere in her reality uh, that, 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 that Hillary Clinton drinks baby's blood. And, and as I was trying to, uh, you know, part of our debate last night at midnight was, darling, you can understand, okay, that Hillary Clinton is an evil, nasty, war criminal, uh, baby killing, you know, through drone strikes and all of this. She certainly has no problem with killing babies, uh, you know, uh, but you can understand that Hillary Clinton is a uh, corporate whore that she is a war criminal, that she is a nasty, evil, detestable bitch uh, who probably does belong in prison for the rest of her life. Okay, there, 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 there is enough things on the list 
you know, talking trash about Hillary Clinton where you don't need to add drinking baby's blood to the list uh, of reasons to hate Hillary Clinton. You know, as I was telling you, uh, since, uh, since I despise uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, not equally, I actually despise Donald Trump more than Hillary Clinton, as I was pointing out to her, but since I hate both of these fuckers, Okay, they both need to be in prison for the rest of their fucking life. Uh, you know, the, the, the same list of complaints I have about one of them, I have about both of them. Uh, all right, but I have been in the company of a lot of Donald Trump bashers in, uh, in, over the past few years. Uh, I will get out there and bash Donald Trump with the best of them, with all of these little lefties bashing Donald Trump. But as far as I know, in all of the Donald Trump bashing that I have engaged in, that I have heard about, YouTube's about these, these little lefties bashing Donald Trump correctly, as far as I know, I have never heard one lefty suggest that Donald Trump drinks baby's blood. Okay? I've never heard that mentioned. And as far as I can recall, I don't think I have ever heard Donald Trump being accused of being a pedophile. This is the difference between limp dick lefties and, and these goddamn clueless moron uh, right wing conspiracy wackos, mainly the QAnon gang. Is uh, the, 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 these e even these limp dick lefties understand that there are enough reasons to despise Donald Trump, namely that he is a serious threat to life on planet Earth without accusing him uh, of drinking baby's blood or being a pedophile, while, you know, these clueless fucking morons on the right, uh, you know, have, have to go into this uh, unadulterated horseshit. But uh, anyway... I gotta wrap all of this up, all of this rambling. And, uh, sounds like Mr. Cardinal, Mr. Cardinal has joined in my rant, but I need to go over there to, uh, change shirts and, uh, see what I can find to rant about. See what that eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles has on his mind today. You can go find that out over there. Bye, guys.